Oh, okay. Here we go. What is this manga? Oh, hey. Hold on. I can find that manga real quick. It'll be here. I got soup all over my glasses. Like, I don't even know how. I think it was just like a residual splash damage, but dang, that's not impressive. I don't know what is. <clears throat> oh, hi, Zerky! I haven't seen you in a long ass time. It's been 8 months already, and unfortunately I don't have a 9 months on badge quite yet. But how are you all doing? Welcome to the stream. Stream, stream, stream. About that time again. You internet died again, and I missed you. I even had a funeral and everything, and now you're back. Are you gonna actually play this time? What do you mean? I played... Uh, I played last time. I think the only stream that you've been to that I haven't actually played anything... Um... I was like the... I think it was the first time you came to one of my Smash streams. But I have played games, I'll have you know, every other time. I had a funeral? I had a funeral in my heart. I thought you died. That's why I haven't messaged you in a while. Well, I haven't mean to check out back here. If you're free later tonight, let me know. I don't think I can be up for too long, but uh, I will heckin' do my best to, um, to do the thing. Are you going to be streaming tonight? That's what I'm asking. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you want to, we can just like sit here and talk about what we think will happen for about a couple of hours and then end the stream. Whatever appeals to your taste, man. I, I'm, I don't discriminate against any type of streams. You can change the title to like speculation of the ER what I think will happen. Oh, anyway, how are you all? How is life? How is everything going? I think I have a pop quiz tomorrow, but I'm not really sure. I haven't really studied for it, nor do I care much for it. It'll pretty much just happen when it wants to happen. So. Oh, dear. I had a funeral in my heart. I was very sad that you died. But I understood why it happened. I hear Smash. Why do you hear Oh! Oh my gosh. No, I'm not playing Smash. I was playing Smash, but I'm not playing Smash. Not a pop quiz? Well, it was on the rumor mill. Man. Heck, damn heck. I don't get Smash QP. This is why I just play in real life. I don't I don't mess around with any of the other Smash stuff. I just sit there and I tell myself, you know what? I'm just gonna play Smash in real life with people where there's where the matchmaking is consistent and it makes sense. You know? You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why these Joy-Cons don't work. I don't know. I flipped a coin so you're playing... Wait, wait, what's BL2? You face harder opponents. Yo, if you ever figure out how to beat Krom, let me know, because I have a Krom problem. A Borderlands 2. That makes sense. Okay. I gotta find my chaps. Oh, there it is. 
I drink soup. No, oh, yeah, no. I mean, like good croms, not like your, sh not like the, the shitty online ones. I'm talking about like the ones you run into attorneys. Cause let me tell you, let me tell you, crom peach is not a fun matchup. It's not fun for, well, it's not fun for me. I'm sure the croms have a fantastic time, dicking around and having lots of fun with it. Prom Kirby is so much fun. Well, I'm glad you're having fun with with the matchups that I suffer against. Just play Belmonts. But then I just get counterpicked to someone else, you know? I'm also too... I also feel as if Peach only loses two matchups. She loses to Lucina, and I think she loses to Shulk. I think she goes even or beats everyone else, so I'm too stubborn to change. I feel like it's either because I'm not good enough or I don't know the matchup well enough. So, play wolf. You know, picking a wolf is not a bad idea by any means. I thought about it. I thought about picking up wolf, and yeah, then my, then my cast would be Peach, Lucina, and Wolf, which I guess, I mean, that pretty much covers everyone. I've been trying to find a good profile picture. Uh, what do you have in mind? I might be able to help you out, maybe. Hold on a second. Uh, I got stuck on my homework, so one of my friends just messaged me. Are you, are you on DR pictures? I uh, we could probably find you one. Uh, was there any particular character you're looking for? Well, I'm a psychic on Chrome players to get them uh, as far off stage as possible. So should we should play sometime. I'd be down to play a couple matches, although my Wi-Fi is complete trash. Chiaki? Uh... Hmm... I will be on the lookout. But... In the meantime, we're gonna play DR. Count me in for a spar training session. Mystic, how good is your Roy? In all seriousness. If your Roy is good, I might take you up on that train sesh. Terrible. Who are you good with? Besides Kirby. Like, who are your mains? <laughs> no one. This is not like this. Kirby Dark Snow isn't right. Just because you're doing bad with the character doesn't mean you're shit with him. I think everyone is just picking up Roy, so there's just gonna be more counterplay to him in general. You should just play Krom. If you're gonna be aggressive with aerials, you should just play Krom so you can just space him better. Or just play Lucina or Marth, because they actually have good aerials. Dang, 
Uh, Big Smash Man said Roy high tier. Now everyone play him, but the joke's on him. I remain Roy in melee. These are facts. <gasps> Hi, Graphic Noodles. How you doing? Roy is good, like, on a casual level. Uh, Roy is not good. Well, I actually don't think Roy's that bad. Okay, main Sheik. No, he's talking about Sheik and Melee. Sheik and, Sheik and Melee is like OP. Not like OP OP, but uh, really good. If you don't want your opponent to play the game, honestly, you either main Fox, Falco, or Peach, in my opinion. All three of those characters are really good at creating walls. Or Jigglypuff. Cause you can make you can make a wall of backers. Okay, enough smoosh. We play murder mystery game. Hi Zelly, welcome to the stream. <laughs> you didn't make hacking fries. I sat down and just got a pink stream right as I was putting my headphones on. Ooh, heck! I changed it to spooky. Welcome everybody from Zelly stream. I wanted to watch the rest of this, so you ended your stream and you came here. Uh, how do I decide what I want to stream? Um, sometimes I will uh, take what other people say into consideration, but usually I have a list of games that I think that I find that I think that I enjoy playing, or I think I uh, I have wanted to play for a long time, and I just stream that. I usually don't stream games that I don't think will be fun to play, or that or that I don't enjoy myself playing. I was already on five and a half hours, so it was a good time to end. Yeah, because, okay, I was in his stream, like, not even, like, ten minutes ago, Baz, and as he said, as I said goodbye, he said that he was gonna go on for another 40 minutes about ten minutes ago. So he wouldn't have ended stream until the top of the hour. Thank you, how are you, Salamis in chat? I'm doing well, feel free to call me Sal. Uh, Salamis can be a bit of a mouthful. I'm doing well. I just had dinner, which consisted of a avocado toast, uh, tomatoes and onions with vegetable soup, and, and now we are here. We are here. But go check out Zelly Wolf. He's an amazing dude. Very supportive. Can't say enough good things about him. But here we are in the Titty Typhoon. Thank you for the follow, Rifty. Rifty85, you are the 420th follower on April Fools. Just so you know, you, you will always have that here. I like Salamence, it's a good- it's an amazing Pokemon. The reason I made my name Salamence is because uh, I grew up on Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, Ruby Emerald Sapphire, and I would get terrorized by uh, uh, Drake's Salamence. And because of Drake's Salamence, I always wanted to have one. So when I realized how hard it is to get one, I cried, and then when I finally got it, it was 10 out of 10 worth. It was cool until Gen 6 made it ugly. I disagree, but that's an unpopular opinion on my part. Actually, I always like how it looked, um, like, with, like, half jet, half, like, the wings are eh, but other than that, I don't think it's that bad. It sounds like a strip club, which is somewhere I wouldn't want to go. Hi, Phantom! Okay, we're gonna actually play this game. <laughs> Broken Machine. The shadow remains of the machine are all spread over the floor. This appears to be the surveillance the camera unit. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm, why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? What do you mean? Well, even if they know they're not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of the camera. 
So that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm, seems plausible enough. They hesitate to murder someone in front of the camera, and, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing I saw? Wait, what thing is he talking about? Alright. Uh, Mikan first. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> if I only noticed it sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. When did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after I was leaving Nagito's room, I went on call, and that's when it came to me. That I should go check on ev on how everyone is doing the ho on how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. Hick. And so I noticed the patient rooms and noticed Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's when it happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital. So I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Huh? But that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. Am I getting a bunch of hosts? Social, okay, I'm gonna start from the top. Phantom, thank you for the host. Tangle, thank you for the host. Social, thank you for the host. You guys are all wonderful people. I thought I saw Fungi. No, uh, he may or may not be here. Okay, we good, we good. So as soon as you uh, left, my phone died. And then when I caught back, he was going to end. Oh no. Well, I hope I can make up for some of the entertainment that you lost by him ending stream. Oh, well, well, I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's one I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went on the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the Monokum announcement. So, I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you, if you talk to me again later, I'll let you know, I'll let you... I'll tell you what I know, okay. So, so please, spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Wait, what? She definitely doubts me. Oh. Oh, she doubts us. Okay, okay. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. 4% to the to the phone charger. This is this is the place where Abuki sent for Fuyuhiko. Yoko looked like she was having as much fun was look looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Ah, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel. Please get a hold of yourself. Two of her friends were killed, and that's all the more reason we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. <laughs> I'm a horrified of my power, the eye of the overlord. What the heck is this? Nature, mm, you stupid fool. Of the world. I cannot believe you have not noticed that apparent thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads for the fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up, does that mean there's something up there? Wait. Is there something up there? No. I half expected Monokuma to show up from somewhere. Oh, so many people to talk to. It's already plugged in, plugged in PogChan. Who calls Hiyoko a dear friend? Uh, apparently we do. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Huh? Yeah, I really don't get it, but I think when I think about Nekumaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. It'd probably go if I battled a strong dude, but Nekumaru's not here. And Nekumaru will definitely come back. You're you're right. Okay, real quick. I have the voice volume all the way up, and you can still barely hear them. Okay. Hajime. Acting like a cracked head. You kind of scare me. You have a Phantom, are you actually okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. Hajime, this might be impudent for me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Could you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident, and for the sake of dedicating my body to you, an even greater hope. I think he was kind of playing along with the game because this game kind of has like a very 
weird, dark, atmospheric vibe to it, but it was kind of freaking me out too, just a little bit. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. I'm gonna take home Akane, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, be sure to fight with her on a daily basis, and then nurture and then nurse her wounds. Uh, once you make her bleed a little bit, bully her if you have to. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's there's no way I'm gonna tell him what he wants to know. I see. That's disappointed. Yeah, a healthy spar. Hey Hajime, take a look at this. Hmm? What? Huh? Now look what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey. Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Ah, someone barred the door. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not, we have to try. So let's go ball charge at the same time. Ready, set. Okay. And this is when they ran through the door. I'm used to having relations like that. <laughs> we spar and have some interesting times. Oh la la, as the French say. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found that this door doesn't have a lock at all. The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. A stick was used to bar that door here. How does it take- it, does, it doesn't take four people to bar that- you know what, never mind. Well, don't you think it would lock the- it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. And how was the killer able to get out? I mean, the music menu doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't have been able to escape outside. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music menu. And then they waited until we were at the scene of the crime to join us. Okay. You know, don't they use those tricks a lot in the mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> oh yeah, sword went through his eye because he sacrificed his lover and tried to save her, and she was a swordsman, and while she was fighting an army of Monokumas, she accidentally sliced him in the eye, tried to protect him, and then she got stabbed herself. If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'll definitely find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. Huh. Like he said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I heard what you two were discussing. Chucky, that was kind of a cool entrance. Well, Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? There's a weird glob right where the door... right in the left door touch. See? You're right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Rubber dubber. It doesn't look like rubber, but as she said that, Chiaki bent down and scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. <laughs> Why are you putting it in your mouth? Mm -hmm. It smells like workshop chemical. Workshop? And this chewiness, I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly into the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Jockey spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides the bit about the taste, is it, consider is it okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? The glob has been <laughs> added, okay. Watch the molasses. Monokuma. Up here. Up here, you dumb bear. Jack, you're always facing you. That was my that was my first question. With her arms crossed with a thoughtful look on her face, Jackie was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty. See? Take a close look at the floor. If you look closely, you're right, there's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. This is a blood stain? Yep. A blood stain isn't strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not too far from here. 
What's rather what is strange is why did the uh, killer try to hide it? If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the bloodstain, as long as the body's nearby, there'd be no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a bloodstain. So what was the killer trying to hide? Probably a footprint. Smudge on the floor. Okay. And we have... I guess we'll just start from top to bottom. So that ladder shipped over on its side. This must be a step ladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. There's a bit of blood on it too. Isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's a blood around the left side of her step ladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. But if that's the case, then it must be Hiyoko's blood. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko is on this left side of the step ladder. But what does it mean? Step ladder has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Hyoko's body suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono's all disheveled, also her sash is tied to the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. That was barely 10 minutes. Is it possible that the killer killed Hyoko and taped her in such a short amount of time? Even if it's possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow <coughs> window of time to do it. Hi Amy! How are you? Shoutouts to Amy, she's an amazing Nintendo streamer. Her, her streams are always super chill. No. Go follow her, she deserves all the love. <laughs> no shoutouts. You will be loved and you will like it. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Oh, a panic lizard! How are you? Ah, uh, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Now, now. I, I do not wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need to help you with. Need your help with. Oh. Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So, so, I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? But that's exactly it. Why? Well, it would be a problem if she were still alive. But she's dead now, you know? Hyoko was such a cutie. I actually hated her. So much. Wow, so I, I say hello and you say hi to everyone else. I'm sorry! I'm sorry I missed you! Hi Cole! I love you! Everyone go follow Cole. He's such a cutie pie. He streams all the all the indie games and all the scary games. Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem now that she's dead? But fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey. Akane! Yo, what up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono. So can you feel around that? What? Huh, I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Hmm, let's see. Akane reached with the uh, duct tape binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight, I can't really reach her with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room. But... If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, it's very unlikely the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put more towards the front of her kimono than so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude that this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Wait. Hey. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you're curious about the condition of Yoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. Well, it's true there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. 
It's almost like they're trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? The wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it'd be, it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, then the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood. Huh. Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anyone faint. You know, fun fact, uh, when I was in middle school, everyone said that's what she said so much that the teachers caught on to it. Just, uh, and so uh, we had to come up with a different word that meant essentially the same thing, and we actually uh, came up with pineapple. So instead of saying that's what she said, you would say pineapple. Uh, Hyoko's body suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. Thank you for the follow, Savage J. Welcome to the stream. She wrapped it against the pillar with duct tape, and she looked, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. According to Monica Mafile, her cause of death was a slit throat. Pineapple. I mean, uh, her neck looked like her neck looks like it was it stopped bleeding, probably because of duct tape wrapped around it. But this duct tape, after hearing it from Nagito, I can totally see the killer using it to conceal the neck wound. He's hella suspicious though. I wouldn't trust him if I was on the island, but I like him as a spectator. Uh, but what's even stranger to me is the condition of Hyoko's kimono. Let's, uh, oh, okay. I already read all this. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. I want to go back and look at the key real quick. Because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to, it's a bunch of people that Hyoko's saying is very difficult to retrieve. Okay. Why is the key important? Like, what does the key tell us? He likes to wait till V3? No. It's gonna be a long time before V3, because I still have to get through Despair Girls. There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in the video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge m might be the perfect lighting, but... They didn't need to bother using candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Hmm. I have a feeling the candle was just for dramatic purposes. That game? Ugh. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? Amy, thank you for the host! Then hemp back. Upon further inspection, there's a, mon a monomy decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Okay. Real quick. Um. Never mind. I thought it was something different. Never mind. A noose! It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with the rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like it's a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this menu venue has a, this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there, which means this was obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained the rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true, huh? I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan. Do you have a moment? You call that a rope? I call it a noose. But I, I guess it's a rope. I just remember that game is like a hack and slash. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> that is the job of Melanie and or Tangled who are currently playing it. Or Tangled's currently playing it. Melanie has played it, I believe. Um, what's happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, so Ibuki died by hanging herself. Then, that was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might have not seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right, yep, I got it. So this rope wouldn't be much of a clue. Then I may as well search another place. And it's not even a clue. 
Lugie's body lay across the top of the stage. She's wearing a hospital gown. She was wearing when she, when she was sick. Hmm? What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice uh, when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki, but if that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Who do you think it belongs to? It belongs to Hiyoko. Right. Hey Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, and at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of the hemp fact, though. You mean the long black hair didn't give it away? Jeez. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Like... A hack and slash is like, think God of War. It's basically a game where you just, like, where you just, like, run through enemies. Like, you're basically overpowered and you just try to run through all the enemies you can. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hyoka was tied up. Wow. That helps. There's no time of death written in Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true that their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time, but I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterward. The two deaths happened at the same time, there's no way that's a coincidence. I'm guessing Hyoko's throat got slit first, which caused the blood to spatter, and then Ibuki was wandering around and she just happened to be in the music venue, and she was told to go kill herself. Maybe. Maybe. Totally possible. At the very least, it's not impossible. Okay, I think... Did we already talk to her? Why was it... What is strange is why was the wed trail try to hide it? They weren't trying to hide it. Uh, did we go over everything? Did we get head back on her head. Mono me Mono me decal on the fabric. This isn't just a normal head bag. Oh, the curtains, I guess. There's a black curtain hanging from the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, if it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm -hmm. It's probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. You see, the black, the back of this curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. If you're saying someone actually took the time to bring the curtain from the supermarket. So if it went that far, this was probably something the killer really needed for this crime. But why did they need it? Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Okay. This looks like the music venue's uh, AC unit. Alright Yuki, have a wonderful night. Sleep well, dude. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this looks... Uh, okay. That's right, you may be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with this a little. Like so. It's running as a heater. It's over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems that you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanging body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of this, mu uh, of this music venue I saw had a dim candlelight ambience to it. It didn't look like the lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason 
that would have inconvenienced them. So you have appeared. I see. So you know, you notice a tooth fiend. Uh, Hyoko could have been. Unless Hyoko's killed in a different room is brought here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. You guys have a wonderful day. Oh, you too, man. Big love. I think about this, unless Hyoko. I mean, it's possible, but I think Hyoko was killed first. And then, uh, she was tied up here later. You didn't notice? Hmm. Are those little eyes of yours just glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting uh, above your head. Have you noticed that aberrant item? Baton lighting? You mean that? That it's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time. I can see it! There's no need. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Go, Mirage, Golden Hog, Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight. Feast your eyes on the, upon the brave soul of my four dark devas of destruction. Amster launched himself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. There are four hamsters of this of destruction. Pikachu, choo! It started uh, uh, running around in a stuck slip. It's around the stuck slip of paper in the rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downwards and was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Whoa. That's amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They are my four dark devils of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So what's with that paper? Hmm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scri scribed onto it. It appears to be nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt, this is some kind of clue. And the fact it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it is too unnatural. Uh, scrap of thick paper. Wait, what if she was already dead? And she was just wrapped in the paper, and then they unwrapped her for later. Looks like it's inside a storage room. I might as well investigate in here too. <gasps> inside the storage room! Is there a bear? Do you spy a bear with your little eye? No? Okay. Start with you. Okay, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just want to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. Tell so about it. Did you find any clues? He tipped over the stuff ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Hiyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. Nakura's first name was Nahige. I explained to him that Japan they say their first name after their last. Oof, uncultured. But now you've explained it to them. I had to have the same thing explained to me too. Whenever I first started watching anime, it would it confuse me quite a bit. There might be um, there might be other things from the storage room that they use for their crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be the killer side, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That is all there is to it. That is the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. I can't say for certain though. What is this guy seeing? As usual, he's not making any Hajime. sense. But by the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? If you could explain to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing me. me. You might end up confusing us again. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. That's not true, I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I gladly I become the enemy. And I won't even mind when I die. That's the main reason why. I can't overlook this case this time. What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? 
And it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. Movie theater? Why is that interest in the movie theater? Because of what the bags were. I know what. Uh, okay. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. Okay. Then we have the sticker. Lots of stickers used in the venue as uh, logo placed here. Looks like they were made. Looks like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. But compared to last time, it feels like there are a lot less stickers than before. And am I overthinking this? The carpeting stage decorations. The thick black paper used to f that was folded up in the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. And there's a lot of stickers plastered all over the front of the side of this paper. At the edge of the wallpaper, it looks a little torn, but what does this mean? It means that Hyoko was covered up, and they just took the wallpaper down. Mm. I guess we should go back to the music menu. Okay, so we're gonna go to the movie theater, correct? Alright, what with this, we might be close to finish investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Mikan and I need to get to make sure I get those autopsy results from here. How about it, Mikan? Have you found anything out by now? Uh, to tell you the truth, I've, it's been very inconclusive. But it's not my fault, the music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat, is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine the precise uh, time of death. I see, that might be the killer's goal, to cover up their time of death just by using the heater to make the inside of the venue hot. But that's weird. What? Even if the heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First Ibuki, then Hyoko. Then, as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murderers. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? You don't know how she? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder when the, cre when the killer uses creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. But how would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way that they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed these two people. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why do they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if that was if this was really an imitation of that movie, then is it possible that one or more person may have been killed? This too must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable. If the killer wishes to complete that imitation. Hold on a second. Are you still talking about an imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> Are you guys worried there's gonna be another victim? No worries. Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Mm -hmm. On this killing school trip, the same blockman can only kill a maximum of two people. You mean you've added another rule? Well, if killing at once is okay, then the blackman would be able to. If killing everyone at once is okay, then the black would be able to secure an easy victory, right? This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will be there will not be any more killings. Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see. As a spectator of you, you're very strict about games. Well, I don't want to consider this possibility at all. I don't want to even think to someone. I don't even want to think that someone would do this. If there are two cases occurred at once. What happens if there are two killers? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. Would that mean two killers exist at the same time? If we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, then the other person would have certainly achieved victory. Yeah. You're right. See? What happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Well. It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. 
meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Oh, uh, fine, fine. That's right, there's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should've shut up and go back to my cave. RIP. Trust me, I know that feeling too, when you're one, when you're one cut short and there's nothing you can do. Yep, well that makes things a little easier. Plus if the killer can kill a maximum of two people, I mean the third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying you can't, you guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Uh, could it be? You haven't seen it? Seen it? Se seen what? Like I said, that movie. When we first explored this island, Monica was passing out imitation tickets. And then the imitation is... Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well, Hi Depper Dusty, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, well, based on the mergers this time, it closely resembles that movie. As if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see, Nagito mentioned something about that. Then it can't be helped, I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Alright, because so we're going to go talk to him at the movie theater. Probably going to go watch that movie, too. So, I see. So you haven't seen it. I still... I, it's still not... It's not too late, I think. So play super safe and run from fights. You got this. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get along, too. There are other places I want to investigate. Where do you intend on going... Next, Chiaki. Probably the hospital for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there, and I don't know what was going at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. Uh, might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. Uh, sure, going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do. I. What is she doing? Oh, she's just guarding the body? Alright, are we gonna go see the movie first? I think we're gonna go see the movie first. We're gonna go on a movie date with Nagito. Hello there. Why hello there Hajime, I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? This case the case this time is an imitation case, in which the killer uses a movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched the movie yet. I see. Yep, that is the bar name. I see, then you really should watch the movie first. Hey. Manager, a customer's here. Did you call me? Well, oh, huh? Hajime's a customer. Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? You said it, you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to watch it all along. If that's what Sundre Hajime looks like, then you really are a tough guy. You, got, you guys got that? We are a soon. You were so devoted to being a soon Sundre that you even bought the Monokuma sticker for 1.5 million dollars. You pay 1.5 mils for a sticker? It's nothing. In exchange for not watching the movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. As I'm talking about anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it. But my resistance was in vain and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See? It's this one. I'm sorry. I was born stupid. You bought this for 1.5 mil? But in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. I don't even think this dude has 1.5 million dollars. The only person that would have that would be Sonya. Here. Okay, here you go. It says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person, so you only have one chance to watch for free. And I already stamped it, I already stamped today's date on the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. To it, okay? 
Then I'll go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Ajme, about the invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason, just think of it as a protective charm. I guess I should wait until Monokuma finishes preparations. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Impossible. You're right, but that means I'd have to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone. Okay. I do you came all this way to not watch it? Your Sundare knows no limit. It's just like me to make Hajime so prickly. I'd be hiding a past where I was once known as the prima donna of the mascot world. You definitely weren't called that. Hey, hey. It's about time you show your uh, dead side, you know? Come on, liven, up, liven yourself up a little. So... It's like, wait for a bit, okay? And do what? That reminds me, an item on top of this, there should be an item on top of this counter. This one looks like a tote. A uh, tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal uh, monomy face on it. Did that catch your eye? Okay. Only one person can have it. Until bag's gone, that means. What's this? Whoa, there. Were you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad. Well, that's just too bad. It's already sold out. Well, who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid. Stupid, there's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that would reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Ah! Remember you said there's only one because it's a limited item, right? Um, it's not limited to one, it's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, when you say that, pisses me off. Hmm. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Looks like preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is exciting! Exciting! Are you guys excited? Spam those popcorn emotes, because we're going to the movies! Popcorn emotes galore! Um. I apologize to keep you waiting. World's famous director Monokuma presenting a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title of alone, I have this I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D sounds so half-assed. Now Ben, please relax and enjoy the film. I want the most buttery Pokemon ever. Even if it's bad for my health, I want it. You should draw you should draw it up and submit it to Game Freak. Buttery Pokemon. <laughs> Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. All right then. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. All right then. It's okay, Melanie. If you like eating Pokemon, we don't judge. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. Nope. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami Scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide... Oh, this is the Wizard of Oz. It took me up until this point to realize that this is the Wizard of Oz. The Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. Rip. 
He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. <laughs> so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. I uh, thank you for the follow, Dapper Dusty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I eat a Psyduck. Something tells me that Tauros meat would be would be super popular. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. The heck? And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. I low-keyed was not paying attention to that movie. All I know is that he killed... He killed... He killed a lion with arrows, and I forgot how he killed this, how he killed everyone else. Man, movies are the best. The drama was so moving that it needed two boxes of tissues, one for each head. Now yeah, let's be a good after class trial. Goodbye, bye, bye. I'm too disguised, disgusted to even let a sigh, sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. Real quick, chat. How did they actually die? I legit forgot. I told you to crab or any of the castration Pokemon. Oof. All I want is a glass of Moo Moo milk. Even in the games, Moo Moo milk looked really, really appealing. How was it? I actually don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? Thanks to the movie, you now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Okay, cool. Milk is gross. Milk is amazing. And the last was beating the shit out of. Okay. It would have um, been a complete invitation to kill or kill three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now. Or. Uh, if the killer's main goal was just an invitation rendered, they should be upset about it. But I'm not sure if that's even true. The Wizard of Monomi has been <laughs> added. Alright. I don't know, I think I personally find milk to be pretty good. Cheese is good, cheese is amazing as well. I just remembered, I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might just be faster to ask someone. Well, yeah, he's the only person I can ask. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh, are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? Those bones wouldn't break if I tried. You can only absorb so much calcium, though. I wasn't trying to hide it in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko staying in? Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure your prayer you make sure you pray whatever god you hold dear. Oh sweet spaghetti flying spaghetti monster. Please grace me with your noodly appendages. And you might want to bring that extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? You could eat like combuskin for spicy chicken. I'm a vegetarian, so Damn I do right. not eat any of the Pokemons. Hey Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at the motel and when we were going back to the music venue, you met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door would open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. 
The most important part is when you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Didn't you hear me? A body was found! Monamisa and Gundam! Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see, so Kazuichi and Sonia didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. I... While we're at it, let me tell you about my alibi too. Uh, if I wanted to get a parasite inside my body, I would eat a mushroom off Paris. And I would chuck oddishes, honestly. Honestly, if I could make one change to Smash, I would make so that Peach uh, plucks up oddishes as opposed to um, turnips. In addition to turnips. While we're at it, let me tell you about my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma and Asuna woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on, and she said Ibuki disappeared. So, you guys split up and looked for Ibuki? Huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. I gotta go do thing. Have a good rest of your stream. Okie dokie. Have a good, have a go, go, have a do, do, go well, do the thing. And have fun. <laughs> I'll see you later. Words are hard. <laughs> I would totally eat the fruit hanging from Tropius's neck, though. I don't think, I think that's like, okay to eat. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Wow. No, we went to the movie theater and the street was full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying I didn't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time Mikan and I were on our, uh, on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Yoko, wrapped her around with a pillow with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there was enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact that Hyoko was killed and we discovered her body... Uh, what? You still doubt me? Jeez. My name is Gundam Tanaka. No! Eggs eat her face are basically the coconuts. I always saw them as eggs. Well, I'm used to it. It's true that I, I've done things I've deserved to be doubted for. Huh. But don't worry, even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you in case you and encasing you in concrete. Well, look at his lock, but we got the key. All right, we should go inside. So Hyoko was staying here. He only stayed a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like a room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh my. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um. I see. What, does something happen? No, it is just, I'm starting to believe that it might be my fault. Her fault, what does she mean? Speak, woman! Um. The moment Hyoko came to the she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, However the fear of disease is not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides this disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in the room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Kimono. Um. Yum. Yesterday, I went to go talk to her, since she had been in her room for some time, and I told her it might be good, to go, for, good for her to go outside for a bit. But she kept the door she kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence it was not locked at the time. And then I saw it. Or um. Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but she, she could not tie her sash anymore. And Mahito was no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't carry tie her kimono. Huh. You are right. Others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. And Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably 
could not forgive herself for not being able to do that since Mahito taught her. I cannot really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Yoko, oh. by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that's when she kicked me out. It cannot be! Could it be Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Huh, I can see that happening. Yoko locked her room and made sure she put uh, she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Someone knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something was wrong. That's it. the only other thing would be the bed here. Looks like she was abducted in her sleep. I feel like she's the killer, and I don't want her to be the killer. She seems too pure to kill. Genuinely speaking. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I think the other place we have to go to is the hospital. I think it's Sonia. I said it was Sonia for the beginning. I just don't want it to be her. I said it was Sonia yesterday. At least, I'm pretty sure that's- I'm 99% sure that's what I said in the VODs. John Cena? Definitely not John Cena. Alright, what you got for me, girl? I feel like I've been here in a while, even though it's only been a few days. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. There's a surveillance camera unit on the reception desk. Um, okay. Hajime. Yeah, Hajime, there's something I wanted to ask you. We first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? Why did you go to the music venue? You have to have a reason for that, right? Did you see that something with this camera? That's right. I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be a different... It would be different if surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. That's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage, and there was a black curtain hanging like there is now. That looks green, unless if I'm, like, going colorblind. The whole display was pretty dark, because they were just using candlelight. There's hope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there's a stepladder on the floor. And right away... A person saw a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I do not know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know they must have been it must have been Ibuki. She walked straight towards the stepladder and without any hesitation. She climbed the stepladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope, and that's all I saw. The candlelight must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. The one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. <gasps> Hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing a, the hemp bag was Ibuki, right? Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you said, she, but you saw her shoot, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. I didn't make it in time. Hey. 
Still, she climbed the stepladder on her own. Does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibu Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? There's no doubt. If so... Hmm... Hmm... Hey, don't think for so long. If you, if you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way to be able to figure out that easily. Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. I'm heading over there. What the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. Hmm... She seemed a little upset. Interesting. You prepare the surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Did you get all this shady looking... You all that from the shady looking alley where all the machines are lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. And if there are other surveillance camera units... Wouldn't it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Yeah. No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors were only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with the hospital uh, camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you're able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. Even if you bring the same model or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, if even another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. There was hope hanging on the ceiling. Did I say hope? I meant to say rope. I thought I said rope. I mean, I'm gonna go grab my jacket real quick. Finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bearable and she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy, and I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you were wearing a hospital gown from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looks like there was only one gown for each patient room, so I thought there might be more in them. the empty rooms. But there weren't any gowns. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left... The, there's only... The only one left is the one Nagito's wearing. <laughs> I have no choice now to use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Well, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Huh? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. But wearing someone... Wearing clothes someone else wears is even grosser. Like there's no time to dilly-dally. I totally left me con back to the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I investigated the music venue, but leaving here on guard duty was a bad idea. Oh, I guess these are all patient rooms. And we go up the stairs. Wait, really? Are you serious? 
That was a hidden Monokuma coin? Make sure tell me this is one. Or these are one. Huh. Literally anything Monokuma could be a Monokuma. Just click on anything Monokuma is what I got out of that. Look, that's the MRI machine. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. And where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Jockey, are you there? Yes. If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. Well, what's fully hey. exposed? Hey, Hajime. If you poke out your eye, you can turn on the light. What are you going to do? Poke them out? I'm not going to poke out my eyes. Aww. Bummer. Full fail. April Fools! No sooner as she's finishing that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtains that was covering the black windows. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference are designed to completely block out light. There's a projector in here, so they probably uh, carefully thought about the light shining through. See? A black curtain that blocks light. It's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain? That's why it was so dark. So, so is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. What is this all about? That bit being embarrassed if I look and troll fail? Nope. No, I just wanted to mess with you. She's definitely upset, and why is she acting childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Wait, before we hop in there. Hello, how's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma, yay! Just a little bit. The class trial's gonna start, you know? Mm -hmm. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP! ASAP. <laughs> I'll see you soon! It's already time. So, this again. I need to go to that place. Uh, again. And now is not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Oh, heck. So one of these will become open after this trial. That's nice. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of the Monokuma Rock. And soon enough, is everyone here? Do you guys want, want to go to the class trial? Hey, jerk, hold it right there. What? Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's sh shoe short a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekamaru? I see. So you've come to avenge him. Avenge? That sounds like he's died. Sounds like you say. Oops. Since Nekomaru is unfortunately available today, let's just say he's absent. Now then, I gotta go first. Ah, uh, hold on, I won't let you escape. Hey, did you hear what he said? Don't worry about it, there's no way Nekomaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Of course he's not dead, there's no way, not in a million years. Is he the mastermind? More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. If something happens here, every one of us except Nekomaru will die. Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you hear? What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Ye you're right. So one of them committed a murder. Money on Sonia. Roar. Roar. 
We stepped onto the escalator and ascended towards the gap, gaping maw of Monica Maroc. You want Sony to be gone? I don't want her to be gone at all. I'd rather everyone else die and Sonya be alive, but I don't think it'll be the case. I noticed our li lined up silhouettes kept getting smaller and smaller. I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. What are your thoughts of behind Sonya being the killer? I don't know. It's just a gut feeling. I feel like... I don't know. I just had this feeling it's her. Uh, and when everyone was inside Monica Maroc... She doesn't seem like the killer type, but it's always the ones you least suspect that are the crazy ones. Ah, the elevator began its deep descent as usual, but no one said a word. And as we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. This game thinks it's so funny. I find a bullet power up. I get one bullet. Salami party. Rip. And that's when it descended as far as it could go. It finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured from the other side, eroding the boundaries of darkness. As I walked into that place. My my! It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekomar was not here either. Is Nekomaru not really participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no. Why bother? Let's... What? Well, now. now then, let's begin. Yahoo! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy to your heart's content. And so, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ah, puns. Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician, she was really loud, but she was soon to be. But she was a mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all my pain and suffering were just just seemed to melt away. I don't know why, but she reminds me of Avril Lavigne, Hiyoko Sayanji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed these two is among us. I definitely can't believe it. Whether I believe it or not, it's irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I'll never be able to escape from this hell. Oh hey, you just made it! Hi Sharp! Uh, long story short, we just completed the investigation, I think it's Sonia. That's why I must find out. No matter the cost, for our sake, for our friend's sake, for Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. How are you doing, Sharp? During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Now I can enjoy number one cheerleader for the next, next five minutes. Happy first of the month, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the two biddies. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... Even doing well, that's good. Punish everyone besides I think it's school and everything's been going well. Person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already. It's 8 30 and you haven't started this project that's due tomorrow. Well, throw this up on the back and start it. What is the project over? I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. Oh, heck. You got this. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Mm. Mm. Big oof. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? She got called out. The emptier your head, 
the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? I feel like she, she's just going to survive because she's too tough to kill, but I don't think she's smart enough to commit a murder. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five in the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, mm. I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. I pled with him in various ways. Various ways? Okay, he caught it too. Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that, her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Huh? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now. Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient Oof. truth for you. Called out. Al Gore would be proud, though. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. This is Kazuya, she said. Like, you just the kind of guy who confuses and make matters worse. When you're actually suspect at this time. Well, we were the the first case I ever played in Danganronpa. I was the suspect. I was a suspect, and we made it out okay in this case. We'll make it out okay in this case as well. You just gotta have a little bit of faith, you know. Damn, I should try to explain to Nagido. I'm in trouble now, thanks to that. Or I shouldn't have tried to explain it. Oh well.
Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between the monitor and the camera? Mikey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the host. Okay, well, it's probably the surveillance camera unit until otherwise. That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. I'm not the murderer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Oh, that's not right. I'm a witch. Hey, yo, hi, Grim. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. That would also be a lie. Hajime is a liar. I'm not a liar. I do not hold music. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Oh no! Damn it! That was gonna be fun. He's clearly suspicious. Hajime's testimony is a lie. That would also be a lie. Oh, but we hadn't seen the movie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. I'm a witch. Burn me. I can't burn After you. All, the only witness. You're too precious to burn. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. No, that's wrong. Where's the Kane Awari at? Oh, wow, Mikey. Priorities. The killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. What the hell? Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes. No mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm up. Okay, he's not. The sad thing is, like, he's not wrong. What's warm up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. You know, Especially you can be pissed at him all you want, but he's not wrong. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! No! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. I disagree. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. No one! Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? Ten minutes. I couldn't have been gone for more than ten minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within ten minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the Mikey, keep it in your pants. Come on, man. Music venue You're better than this. Room. Hmm? What do you mean, a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. No. <laughs> 
If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! <laughs> Me too? What the hell? Why is it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Wait. Oh. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Ooh. Is he gonna is he gonna testify for Nekomaru? Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. Everyone knows that Akane If you believe so, Mikey. If you believe so. What a freaking way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? Maybe. Killer is not the music venue. If you go you think so, but is that really it? I could listen to this music all day. Like it only makes sense with the um The killer was still inside the music venue. But it only makes sense with like words going on. The they tried to keep us from getting in. I think it was that first it one. Seems they were trying to stall for time. Can't argue with that. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. I obviously I agree with Miss Sonia. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. That person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. Okay, so we're looking for a contradiction. Inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. There we go. Okay, I, th I thought it might be that, but I wasn't sure. Because sometimes you just don't know what this game wants. <laughs> There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. It was probably... Uh... I see. Glue? Must have been glue. Well, who uses green glue? Yeah, I think so too. And it doesn't take four people. You know what? Never mind. I just had a firm gel like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. Zero IQ. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, we must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? No. First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Yes. Then I, I totally fell for that fucking trap. Yeah, you did. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. Oof. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. She should be a politician. So, during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? 
And they also taped her up after killing her, right? No way that's possible. Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Well, she probably would have tripped over something. They couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue. They must have done it earlier than that. Earlier. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? Mm -hmm. But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Kyoko was actually killed earlier. Okay, Akane, Oari, and Aoi Asahina, best girls, last words by the god of Mikey Legend. Bye. Bye, Mikey. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well, dude. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here. I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? The scrap paper. I should be able to figure out what it is. Is it wallpaper? Wait. W A L L E A P E R? Okay. I'm, 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 I, I give up on actually being good at this. Do as fast as you can. There we go, wallpaper. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not as bad as you guys think I am. There was an attempt. Indeed there was. That's crap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? <laughs> in the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting, the tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? Obviously. A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Yeah, she was already taped up, and the wallpaper was already around. Here's the back. Should the answer should be clear. Oh, are we gonna go surfboarding? Oh, yay, surfboarding! I forgot how to play this game. Okay. Oh, well, there was an attempt. Sorry, I forgot how to play the game. Oh, okay, I have to hold it like claw. Okay, this makes sense. All right, I remember. I remember the controls of this game now. I finally remember the controls of this game. Oh my god, this is like one of the Sonic levels, you know, like the special Sonic levels, like the really special Sonic levels. If Yoko body, uh, it was hidden, obviously. It doesn't take a 200 IQ genius to figure that one out. Is this just Geometry Dash? You know, it might be. This is probably the most fun minigame in all seriousness. It's cause like, it's like an action. Some snowboard game thing, I don't really know. This is what your neurons in your body actually look like. They look like rectangles and 
geometry. Uh, where does the killer hide her body? Using the wallpaper. Look at us. We're so smart. I had faith in us. Did you have faith in us? You know, I never played Tony Hawk when I was a kid. Uh, they formed a wall. That's definitely what it was. They formed a wall. Oh. Look at that. First try. You mean the Chaos Emerald bonus? Yeah, that one. Uh, especially Sonic Adventure. Uh, Sonic Advance on the Game Boy Advance. And like uh, Sonic Rush. Reminds me of that a little bit. Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah, by wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Yoko's body was already there. Yeah. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar. I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. This is based on Sonic 2 and have a half-pipe design bonus. It's, it was one of my more favorite ones, also because it was pretty easy to access, you didn't have to search too much for it. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Yoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music room. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. Oof. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on it. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. Bold move. But the crime Sonic 3 makes you play Blue Sphere. I was always bad at the Blue Sphere. I played Sonic, uh, I still need to finish it, but I played Sonic, uh, not Generation, Sonic Mania, and I'm so bad at the Blue Sphere game, it's not even funny. Just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. I'm back from mass consumption. Well, that's nice. Then, when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And Ew. On that note, 14 times per character? Ew, that's so much. It's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But. What is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5? Did, did I change my mind? I did not. Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movie number, without my permission! Number one is Sonia, number two is Mikan. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat mothballs. What are moss balls? Hypersonic and Super Tails are worth it. Hyper Knuckles, not so much. I've seen videos of them. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. And like people playing through them. It looks like a lot of fun, but I don't know if I want to go through that much effort just to unlock those characters. It might be worth it though. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. It's like the Citizen Kuma films. I see. 
The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Moss ball is a ball of moss that starts to grow all the way around because it just gets spun. Uh, it's, it's formed around a rock that, that gets rolled in the tide or in the pool of a waterfall. Oh, that's really cool. I've never seen one before. Playing the Sonic Mega Collection, so I have an old GameCube that has the Super Emeralds on it. That's really cool. I've always wanted to uh, get that and maybe play it, but they don't sell GameCube games anymore. Then, Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki. The last Sonic, the last GameCube game I bought was actually Sonic Heroes. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Was it Gundam? What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Oof. Look. Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. One of the best collections done in my house. Uh, done in house by Sega. The port is almost one to one. The best they could do on the GameCube. What's wrong with that? But it seems Ibuki was still standing when Kyoko was killed. Usually, GameCube ports weren't that bad. Um, I always thought GameCube games were done pretty well. Last game I bought was Pokemon XD. I got that in Coliseum gifted to me on, uh, when I was in sixth grade. It's a really, really good game. That would mean Kyoko was killed before Ibuki. Yeah, I would say. I don't know. I would say Switch and then GameCube, honestly. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the Sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. Mm -hmm. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? They did. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 was probably my favorite Sonic game, though. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Damn, she pissed. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> you want to talk? I'm just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best we clarify. When it, it's just the blood on her feet, right? Yeah, blood on the soles. Look at that. Rather green with Yoko died. Her. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Yes. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor. Was there any sign she stepped on something? <laughs> were there even any footprints at the crime scene? Maybe was I just too slow? Or... I feel like I was too slow. That she was like sitting or something. So instead, there'd be a mark on her ass. Oh my god. Weak, weak, weak! I say. Oh. Fuck. It doesn't even pierce my heart. I say GameCube uh, because of when it was made. Technology Marvel. Yeah. How do I manage to shoot the noise all white noise all the time, dude? I don't know. The Spare Girls is gonna be a fun experience. Yoko died. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Maybe it's because I practice hitting the white noise all the time. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? I agree with that. Consent. Break. Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. Or faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly. She right? got slit in the jugular. If Ibuki 
and stepped on her blood? You can make the consent thing into a pretty good meme. You really could. Means Ibuki was still standing when Gyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Gyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of ram, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? <laughs> it's a good line. But are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. One second. I was looking, I was just looking for some, okay, we're good. It's gonna sound so weird when he talks normal. He really does. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest! Wait... My guess is the smudge of the floor. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor! Allow me to cut through wow, this. that did not take as long as I thought it was going to take. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterwards. I was mentally preparing myself for that one. You don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they're able to hide Kyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe... that either was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the fever! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file, just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's conviction. I kind of want to see him die because I feel like his death would be one of the more creative ones. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Well, I love how- I didn't- I just realized this, but Teru Teru's X mark is a knife and a fork, whereas everyone else just has like a normal X. Just realized that. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide. Same as always, you have to vote for who the killer is. Think about it. A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all. Yourself. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito? What do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide? Well... I mean, I understand Yoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. She was under the influence of the of the disease. Someone probably told her to go kill herself. For example, it's 
possible Ibuki killed Hyoko, and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. Why not you, Monami? Why not you? But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been exactly. able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with Oh my god, this guy's actually dumb. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Huh? According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Right. And does that mean someone forced her to do it? Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure... That surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually right? What time did Hajime see that video? Right. I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Yoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. You go, girl. What are the lyrics that are in this song? Like, I don't know if you guys can hear the background music, but if you listen very faintly, there's uh, music to it. Um, Nikon's account. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, Stand. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? I think Sonya would be the only one. Before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. I actually don't know. You guys. 
I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then. No, it's not it. We can exclude this. Uh, I actually don't know this one. My next guess would be Fuyuhika's account. Um. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Were you? I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. Okay. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Crap! We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Right up until the morning, that's when we con was with Hashimi the whole time. Afterwards, we went to the hospital to check on everyone to see. She apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was. So everyone who stayed at the. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, in my own cottage. Can you can fast forward. I know, but I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone. Um, is the thing. So her her account is kind of useless. The movie ticket's kind of useless. Um, this is kind of useless. So it's one of the accounts, or we can't do anything with the blue ones. I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the weakest alibi has failed. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Uh... We can Any ideas? Because I actually don't know. Uh, I'm actually kind of stumped on this one. I don't even really know where to begin. We're trying to find the weakest alibi. The weakest one are the ones that have been presented. Probably would have to be either Fuyuhiko or Sonia, right? And what about the others? Mm. Right before the morning announcement. You're trying to contradict someone? It's totally sleeping in my motel room. No. We can exclude the sick people like me and Kane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement. I was totally sleeping in my motel okay, room. Okay, nothing nothing you can't contradict that. Everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have- What about you guys? <sighs> I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then, Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! But we have three alibis, right? We have Fuyuhiko's alibi, we have Sonia's alibi, and we have Mikan's alibi. I guess we can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally asleep. I think everyone. So everyone is. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the, if nobody has an alibi, then... no, that's wrong.
Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You... you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Alrighty. Hey, what kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hachibu. Too much info. <laughs> She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. Yeah. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? <laughs> she uh, tries saying it in a less lewd way. She doesn't know any better. Occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Tell him, Naegi. If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us? If so, then who's... And what kind of trap is it? Hiya. Why, hello there, Monami. The moss balls sure look tasty today. Stop it! Stop it! Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chance time. How wa wa? What's that? Now then, Monami's appeal time starts now, huh? Appeal time? Your kind-hearted brother is gonna give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck, show those jerks who treats you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss. That's 99% your fault. While you're whiny, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About 30,000 words or so. That's too long, it'll just be a boring appeal. I've been freaking out back and forth. Are you okay? Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be merchandise opportunities headed your way. Um, then, I'm Usami Magical Miracle Girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who likes sweet little, who, who's sweet like milk. Jeez, and I thought a certain robot's little sister was supposed to be the best. What? A disappointment. what? Um... <laughs> who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Resume. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Facts. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Pet. Pet, are you okay? You are okay. Good pet. The reason Killer didn't, did imitation murder is the reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Uh, it suddenly ah. got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so... I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. 
I couldn't get killed because of that. Oof. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? I'm actually starting to feel bad for Nagito. I am kind of as well. I don't think he's as, like, since, at least since the second chapter, I don't think he's as bad as everyone was making, me, making him out to be. The lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned? There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Oh my goodness. I need to find out, no matter the cost. But you know why. Wait. Wait. Where's Sony's account? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with the motel room key. Why did Shoko go to the music venue? There's no way we know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. She was guided by the will of causality. It's it's what Sonia said. Because the motel room key proves that. Guess how they rise up higher before. It's just as Sonia said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? He wants to. I feel like he just wants to sacrifice himself so everyone else can grow. But and that's what he believes that's his purpose in life. Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease. You know. I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. 
Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't move! Are you saying my gut was wrong? This should be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? No, th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. All right. Rebuttal showdown. Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. But Hyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? Mm -hmm. It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! Crap! Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those words! I'm getting better at this. <laughs> the reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes! Do whatever you want to me! Burn me, boil me, take off my clothes. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that he opened <laughs> the music Fun menu. time. Welcome back, Zelly. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet under. Oof. <laughs> you want to take her home? Okie dokie. It seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. What the heck? Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hiyoko. Oof. Use that coincidence for their crime. It made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? 
They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. Well, the killer's plan from the beginning. I'm sure we're pretty, very, very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. He actually might just be the smartest one here. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you enjoying these cases? That's good. I, I am too. Possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. I think someone just told her to go kill herself, and they just she just went to go kill herself. But now I remember, there was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Uh, really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. No, wait a minute. If we get blood and feed, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? I can see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue we, that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why weren't there any footprints on the... that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Did you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! You're obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Kom Komoda, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. Didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Hmm. Komai. Kom. Kom. Komida? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it would come down to that. The mystery around this incident is contained in that video, and whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well, you should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. Oh, there's something hidden, there's some hidden clue in that video. I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. But I'm the only one who can do it. It's the color of the ladder. Here. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a bloodstain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. 
There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. Nice eye. Thank you. If the video showed the moment of Mubuki's death, then Nyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. The stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I could think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? No. Uh, what are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chalk said the stepladder was at a different place. But, if that's the case, the thing that's different between the video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. Uh, what? <sighs> what is the difference? I don't know, we're gonna try something. F I L I still don't know. Film ING is what I'm guessing. Like I said, there was an attempt. There should be pause in this game? Oh, you think there would be? Can you not know? I can't pause it. I cannot pause it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, catch release, spelling letter, tap key, sent a word. What's the cursor? What's the cursor's special move? You can delete letters. How? Is my question. There's a special move? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, this is just a special move right here. Wait. Uh, it's not fast forward. It's not. No, I don't think I can. Because you use the click buttons to do what I've been doing. The buttons you use to pick up the letters is the delete button. 
No, I can't delete that. Because I'm pressing that button, I can't... Do you delete it once it combines? Oh, well that's what I'm doing. At least I'm trying to. Okay, okay, I finally understand. I'm sorry, I'm bad at this game. Filming! Is it station? That sends it to the key sentence. I'm doing my best. Filming, I don't know. Controls. Why is there no other C? Here, give you a moment, okay. So you use a button to pick up the letters and drop them on there, but they're so fast. Oh, okay. I will do my best. I'm doing my best. We will never give up. These kind of deal with how hectic it gets. I hate this so much. The first one was better. The special action button? You mean, you mean this button right here? This special action button? The one that is absolutely useless? Oh, it's film. I keep thinking it's filing. Okay, real quick. <laughs> Filing cabinets, okay. Well, it wasn't filing cabinets.
Filming location. Oh. Let's see a key. Wait. I will see a T. I will see a. Oh, wait, A. C-A... T... Oh... Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Thank you! Ladder, the filming location must have been different too. Oh my gosh. I didn't deserve that. But thank you. If you guys have Frank or Faye Z emotes, there's an emote called Victory Screech that you can use and spam. So that man has done it. Thank you for the three bits. One bit for each try. Sad re. I saw was not filmed at the music venue. Yeah, because the curtains are green. It was filmed somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Oh yeah, claw. I have to play... I have to hold this like I'm using claw. Claw controls. I had to use mouse and keyboard to get through that hangman's gambit. I think that's the first and only time I've actually ever used mouse controls. Wait. Okay, okay, wait. Which part of the series did the killer tamper with? Uh, uh, it's probably both, and I probably fucked this up. We're gonna say it's the camera though, because I've already committed to the cause. Oh, well, all right then. I guess that works. Wait, 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 wait. I made that though. I definitely made that. I went through the floor. That's not okay. when you go too fast and you fall off the edge. Wait. You have to keep moving forward. What kind of... No, come on. Just let me get to the next part. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Do I have to play this in claw? I basically do. If I could show you the position unless you're not holding my controller, it looks like it's claw. I don't get it. That's okay. Am I going too fast? I just might be going too fast. Here, I'll go slow. You know, I was doing so well in this trial up until this point. 69. Hi, Ariel! I'm sorry, hold on, give me a hot second. I really can't look at chat and do this at the same time, but I will do my best. Ariel, how are you? It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. Oh, there we go. How are you? Wait, did the killer temper with... Oh, it's probably the hospital. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, it was obviously the music venue. 
It's okay. Ariel, how have you been though? Big miss. I hope you've been doing well. Everyone, if you're not following Ariel, go follow Ariel. She's a fantastic creative streamer and an amazing and very talented artist. Oh, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I'm gonna die here, not because I, d I can't answer the questions, but because this platforming is literally the worst. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Alright, we're good. We're good to go. This is what your neurons look like, if you didn't know. Okay, question three. What did the killer do with the music venues? Oh, they probably took it with them. Watch this be the wrong answer. Oh no, it's the right answer for once. Thank goodness! Oh my god, we did it. Tilson, are you looking for- Aww. Is it? Are you looking in the same area as you're currently in or are you looking to move like in a different city or whatnot? Finish with six seconds? Oh, I didn't even look- I wasn't even looking at the timer. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. A little bit away. Thanks to a screen. That's nice. Well, best of luck to you. I hope you find it soon. I'm sure, I'm sure searching for a house can't be fun. I guess it could be, but I don't think I've ever heard any like good, good or fun stories come from it. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. So I'm confused. Did did they did the murder happen in the music venue or did it happen in the hospital? You're seeing four on Sunday. Oof, that sounds like a busy day. Definitely cheaper than rent. In the long run, it definitely is. You don't have to pay monthly rent, and then. You, on top of utilities and everything, you just pay monthly until you finish off your mortgage. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. I see! The killer a ring got hiked down. Was there a reason as to why it got hiked, or was it just because your landlord was like, "Screw it, I'm gonna raise the prices." As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took, and they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing is amazing enough. Uh, they said repairs. That's that's always their excuse, though. It's either they're it's either repairs or they're renovating. This means even if the film they filmed another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, why was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? That place inside that building. Well, here we go. Screw me, am I right? I know this one! Oh, sorry. Wrong button. C O N F. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is it F E R or F R E? We're gonna find out. So, uh, con. F conference. Okay, that's how you spell it. It's whatever. We're ready to our own. More power to you. 
you will I, I i think i think it's for the best and i think once you get settled in into a home you uh and get comfortable you won't have to worry about paying rent and all that and worry about destroying stuff it, it will be your house to do whatever you will with it'll make you don't have to worry about like neighbors upstairs people downstairs people it'll be it'll just be your place to do what you will with C O N F E R. Okay. F. F E R E. E N. E N. Give me a C. E N. Me now give me a C. Too early for the O's. No, there's my C. Conference room. Me an M. What's that spell? There we go. If I can finally become the streamer you want to be, because I can't stream when I need to because of I'll be waking up with a lot of time. And also, if we oh, you you become you'll you'll have a little puppy, and we can see him on stream. And it'll be adorable. It looks like it's still buffering. Melanie, no! I'll upload it tonight. Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. Stream name my doggo. It'll be the memeiest name that we can think of. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the comms room look like the music venue, the killer went in and did some work. I gotta make it clear what that work was. Make your argument! Room look like the music venue, or did the music venue look like the conference room, or did they make some kind of set? He might have taken with the camera. No, I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Rude, work, work. Uh, let's see if it, it is the curtains. So that means they made the hospital look like the music venue. Okay. There's no way to come from the music venue. Look this Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? No. The con Is it the other way around? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it. I'm still so confused. I'm very lost what at this point. Did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. 
From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. This game stressful? No, it's not stressful. It's just it's it's a puzzle mystery solving murder games. So I it's it's you have to keep up with what's going on. I've never played a uh, Phoenix Wright, but uh, according to Sharp, I uh, this is like an anime version of it. I think you should stream it and play it. But it's really only fun if you play it blind because if you know what happens, it kind of takes a lot of the suspense out of it. Oh yeah. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... I think you'd have fun with it too. Same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Um. My guess is the temperature, but I don't think it's that. I don't think he... Breathe, it's not that. I don't think it's that. Crap. Oof. What did they do? Let's look here. Oh, that's game. What was it? We will never give up. I'm also really bad at this game. If you if you couldn't tell. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. It somehow became a plain it is a black light. That's what makes it fun. Because you guys enjoy watching me suffer as much as them. I uh, it's not the rope. It's not this. Not the glob. It's not that. Hi Ox! How are you doing? Mama Ox. The candle. I can prove it with this. You're referring to the candle and the music, room, right? Hello, my wee mother. You have internet. Oh heck, my bad. Zelly, thank you for gifting. Hold on. I can't believe it was actually the candle, I would have never guessed it. Thank you for gifting Ox and Ariel the sub! Enjoy the emotes! I love that peach one, she's so cute. I spam it everywhere. In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candle lighting. I know, right? 
It's so cute. I just, I wish she was real because all I want to do is give her head pats. It's so adorable. And that's my pouty emote. It's supposed to be like a Moe Salamence emote. Because apparently, apparently I pout a lot, and so I figured I'd get a pout emote. Courtesy of Lexi. The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. Pow to That's why the killer used a candle with film lighting instead. Very exciting. Ox and Ariel both- I'm, I haven't talked to you guys in such a long time. Big miss. I still think Which about you guys all the time. Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Ox, you have to send me the new, uh, the new beefed up version of Auto when you get the chance. I haven't really been pressing. Pinky for gifting. <laughs> A uh, tier one sub to social outcast LA. You're so kind. Oh, Tangle, I'm sorry. Tangle, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to social outcast. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like a moron. Tangle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tangled is an amazing person. He's going to start streaming soon. I'm super excited for that. I think sometime in May or so. Or not May, I think June is what he said. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. Wait, what the fuck? I lost my top top tier rip sharp. With that cheap ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. You've conditioned Salza. He really has though. Mr. Oxel's in your new build if you'd like. Yes, please, please. Um, I will <laughs> 51 thank you for the 51 bits tangled. Rip sharp. No, please do so. I've been wanting to play it for a long time now. I, I just don't know how much has been um, has been updated, but please feel feel free. I you know how I feel about auto. I love it. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. Careful. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. Is someone sent it to me? Yes. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. I probably won't stream it until after I'm done with this game, which I actually don't know how much further I have left. I'm probably about halfway if I if it's similar to the first game, but I will definitely it'll be the first thing I stream once I'm done with uh, this game because I'm hooked on this game. With, I'm un, I, it's it's really unhealthy how addicting this game is. One thousand, no one dethrones me, and gets away with it. Thank you for the one thousand bits. But Tangle, seriously, s save your money. Don't spend it on me right now, because I know you have a lot to. You have a lot of, a lot of things you gotta take care of, like your glasses and your tires. Please. A little less than halfway, but the last chapters are long. Oh boy. Oh yeah, speaking of, I, I still have, uh, this is the tier 3 one, but Ox, it's your emote. It's the one that Tangle made, or Tangle commissioned you for. I don't know if you remember it, but it's this emote. <laughs> it's Ruby! It appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. There's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. Wait, but if it was in the conference room... Does that mean the body was moved over? The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference Oh, so thank you for the host! 
I feel like I've heard Bass Like Hop say that before, but isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. I think I know who the ultimate despair in this game is. Do you think it's... Do you think it's Nekomaru? Do you think it's... Do you think it's Na uh, Najito? There's a fake. The fake one... Has to have been... No... No, nah, it's, I'm an idiot. It's not that one. I see. Yeah. Okay. The person wearing the hint bag in that um, was Ibuki. Save it. If if I if if my logic, you know what? Message uh, DM Tangled, and just to see if you're right or not. Turns on PS4. They just released a bundle. Wait, which game? Is this game affordable? I think it is. I got the first two, I got all three games for about 40 bucks, I think. And there's actually four games, but the spinoff is uh, like an FPS game. So you should definitely look into it though. I It's not super expensive at all. They're not like $60 each. Where's the Wayne Hemp back in the video? Wasn't he Buki? It was the killer. the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hip bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. Was Mikan the murderer? Mikan, Mikan couldn't have been the murderer. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. Is it Sonia? From the music venue to the Was I right? Kill her. There's no way it happened during the day. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. You know, left clicking will tell you. I'm actually playing it on the controller. So the one who- if you guys stick around for the entire thing, it'll- uh, at the end, there's like an ending climax that recaps the entire case. Which, so if you stick around for that, it'll tell you exactly how the murder happened. But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly- It's to throw off the timing, right? The natural, the killer's identity will reveal itself. It's... You fiend! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? No, please don't be her. No, no, no. Crap. No, okay, whew! Alright. Oof. I actually don't know who it is, but that's beside the point. You're the only one. Is it Mikan? You're the killer, aren't you? Mikan, no, you're so precious. Uh, no. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoka? Tangled, why do you always have to pick the girls that murder people? Best case in this game, by the way. No, it's sad. Like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her. Murder has no cute side. Oso has a cute side, though. His softy side comes out whenever Lexi's here, but she's not here right now, so he doesn't have a cute side. She's right. a, a 
Pus. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. <laughs> it's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. I'll be honest with you, I picked him for this case, and this case made me cry so much. Yeah, I know, at this point it, can, it, it has to be her. But, you mean he's his play aside? You should see it in action. He'll, every time he's embarrassed, he'll always do this thing right here. And the more uh, forward slashes he, he puts into chat, the more embarrassed he is. Is that also a coincidence? Shouldn't you get some rest already? You're exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? I use the on-call. Wait, did she get in- Wait, did she get- You should- It's better for you to relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room. But you actually went to the conference room. Am I talking about you? Yes, so oh, so dear. We're talking about you. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance the bag on your head and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. No, this is just one of the cases, Ox. There's so many. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! What are you saying? I'm it's time for the rhythm game! Literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! I it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I want to bang bang her. Oh, so. I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. She's a nurse. She's not that dumb. That's She's not even dumb. Is not necessary. Dang, you tell him, girl. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. She's been bullied for such a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. Aww. Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Why is everyone looking at me? Everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Uh, try checking Steam, Ariel. I know for a fact it's on Steam. I, I bought it. I have it on Steam. Could it be? I'm the only I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be much easier if I was wrong. I have this much doubt about someone I spent so much time with. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. He is the ultimate despair. I have no place to say this. He is the ultimate despair. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. 
Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now Justice, tool, right. despair, hope, triggered. You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. It's a killing game. Please don't say such controversial statements. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal! Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. So it was the hospital with 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 all its surgical equipment. So it was the music venue. By the way, you know what? Never mind. I forget the name of it. They got it at the supermarket. That means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy booky used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. God, I've been listening to you for a while. And it sounds like he knew about this rope clue all along. I mean, he did, but no one would listen to him. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? This rope won't, won't be much of a clue. I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. So Ox Ariel, the way this works is that someone commits the murder and then they all try to figure out who it is. If they guess right, then only the murderer dies. But if they guess wrong, then everyone else dies and the murderer gets gets to go free. Oh. More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then? And then I finish speaking. Huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. They contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? Dope. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. No. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Am I agreeing with somebody here? The fact that this is decisive proof will lead to the killer, is that true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. 
I can't argue with that. It's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Okay. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Because of the AC temperature. Be? Because of the AC temperature. Did we fall for someone's lie? No, okay, I thought it was Nikon lying. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Real quick, this. Um... She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. No hanging and strangling seem similar. They're very the scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? There we go. That must be it. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. There's something I wanted to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt that she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> Should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Miko, the ultimate nurse. Please wait. But first of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, Everyone's you banned. Right. Lol. <laughs> have been a great help to us so far but even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation facts i'm not taking her side or anything i'm not even in med school clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake he's totally right <laughs> I, i'm such a clumsy mess and i got so careless why is everyone being booed because osa got banned mikan nursed me till i got better there's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? Is there a banned phrase now? No. That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? They're just trolling you, Bath. I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. Oof. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Oof. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. Huh. Hmm. I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. Is that really true? Oh. Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Rhythm game! I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. 
Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause... If there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? Okay, that made no sense. So if someone wants to explain that to me, feel free. D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. You tell him, honey. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Nah, it's fine. They can spam it. It's all good. Belief without <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. It's simply a lie. They did the same thing whenever I was playing DDLC. They're spamming just Monica. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, Mika. It's not. She just went to crazy land. Hey, she's finally angry for once. Chains of despair. Finally break these chains of despair. Chiaki. Hey, Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Can you prove it? Prove it? Wait. Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? <laughs> I really do too. Yo, yo, social chill. It's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Osa saying what he wants to say, it's fine. It's okay to hate, if you don't like her, it's fine, but like, don't, don't hate on other people for liking her. She's saying, she's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who saw that video. Honestly, it's just hard to tell sarcasm over the internet at times, and... Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? We still have two more minigames after this. I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this.
can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! What are we forgiving if she didn't do anything wrong? Pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I only saw the video. Uh, what is it? I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else. Did she say anything about the candlelight? I don't think so. I figured it'd be the AC temperature because I figured I figured she would be the one to um, to make it really hot. I don't think it has anything to do with the candle. Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? Good luck with this debate. Body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's oh, I think I think I know what it is. Type. I think I know what it is. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else who could have filmed that. Huh? Do you have a the hemp bag on her head? It's not that. The hospital gown she was wearing is suspicious. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really real? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? No. <laughs> We can't think of anybody who could have filmed it. Huh? Is the hemp bag off with the hospital gown? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really? You could tell her body time just from that, just from that camera angle. That wasn't that. Um. We can't think of anybody who could have filmed it. Huh? Is the hemp bag off with the hospital gown? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really? I'm guessing I have to. Just from, just from that, just from that. Dip. There's no way you'd be able to. So Hajime, pay close attention and you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Alright, what is the killer's mistake? Don't flinch, don't hesitate, don't run away. I'm the only one who saw that video. What else? What else is it going to do if I don't do it? I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different. Same thing with the candle is the mistake. But you could tell her body type. But we, the the, we can't. There's nothing about the candle though. Just from that video. Just from that camera angle. Just from that dim candlelight. Oh. Okay, I see. I see what you're saying. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Why the candle, though? No, I'm actually asking. I got nothing on this one. Why the candle? We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have it? Is the hemp bag off? Is the hospital bed? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different- Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? I hate. There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. So please 
Don't, don't, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh because I missed it. Don't laugh because I missed it. You know it was gonna happen. Round and round we go. Oh my god, I thought I destroyed this. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Another killer! You can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. 158. And then he goes this. Wait, did I not? I missed it. I'm so sorry. There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. So please forgive me. Hajime, hey close, you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Well, we just ran out of time, so. We're about to We're about to go through with it. I'm doing the best I can to hurry this up. Try the camera angle. Man, I'm about to get a solid B or C on this. The only redeeming thing about this is the music. I can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that. Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head? Is the hospital get? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really? You could tell her body just from just from that just from that. There's no way you'd be able to. So please, her. Hajime, you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer. We can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Do you have a is the hemp bag on her head? The, is the hospital gown she would or could it be the hospital slip? Ibuki and Mikan clip. Is that really you? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown. Just from that video. Just from that camera angle. Oh my god. Did it. Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. <laughs> mistake? As I said before many times. I'm the only one who saw that video. For <laughs> so you should just stream this game. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. This is like this is like the Mondo trial all over again. So how can you Good job, social. Good job. Say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself. Here we need change. Okie dokie, Ariel. It's because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Oh, are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! <laughs> Forgive me! Econ.exe has stopped working. Error 404. <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not it? I mean... It's impossible. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Thank you for the bit. You know that handbag Ibuki was wearing when she died? <laughs> Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. <laughs> what the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, 
Did you know that bad? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> no, you. Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? I don't know how I got here. Well, welcome, Ryan. Whoopsie. Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? Except Monokuma's account. That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Yes, ma'am. Long time no see. Well, not really. This is the game breaking the fourth wall, by the way. It's time for the third panic talk. Action. PTA. This is probably going to be my last job during a class trial. Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time. Starting for this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. Fuck. You will no longer be able to make do with just the left mouse button. Below the tempo marker will be... Well, in, in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point out, you will need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the remarks. No matter how much you mash the left mouse button, you'll be able to refresh it by pressing tab key to reload. Uh, just like click, just like pressing the tap key in time with the tempo marker, the controls are the same as the left mouse button. Okay. And well, it's refreshed based on how well you keep the tempo, keep the timing wrong, and yada yada yada. Sounds legit. Um, what you and I both yearn for, truth to sp Oh. Well then, good luck and have fun. She chose you? Yeah! Oh so, what are you gonna tell Lexi? That you chose a 2D girl over her? I'll be sure to tell Lexi that you just you chose Mikan over her. Check. Has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? At this rate we're not getting anywhere. Gotta do something and end this! Gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Lexi's going to be heartbroken. Why is this girl asking for forgiveness? Who knows? It's so much harder when you have to actually reload. It's so much harder when you have to reload. Three, four, five, one, two. What? Three, four, five, two, three, four. Wait. There's only one bag. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same uh, time. Theater bonus prize. Okay.
Yeah, she's been bullied all throughout her life. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. But why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? You keep boxing to Asian Elkie. Yeah, exactly. Struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Miko, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Alright, closing argument. Here we go. Finish the finish the thought thought uh when i saw the monitor oh well we're off to a great start um well let's start with what we do know we see the dead body and after we see the dead body how was the a lock room recreated with the glue Okay, at least we know that. And then this one is put it back to normal after destroying it. No, that's not it? Okay. Oh, what the heck? I only had two lives left. Never give up and never surrender. Oh wow, it's different every time. Mm, okay. What did the killer do after the broadcast? What I saw on the monitor. No, it wasn't that. We this we don't actually need. Um, the ripped pieces of the baton lighting. The body was hidden before. Okay, so that's the end of it. So it's actually not much. Um, let's see. The wallpaper gets torn off after he arrives, so the wallpaper has to be somewhere here. If we already see her... That's good. And put it back to normal after destroying it. Okay. And how is the locker room recreated that we don't know, but there's two different step ladders somehow. This we don't really need to get into, but um, the step ladder would probably be in the beginning, except we don't need that. So this is the one we're trying to figure out. That did not take long at all. Then we're going to seal the door on the way out. 
Do we need anything over here? No, we don't need anything over here. The body was hidden before what Esau would have been broadcast of the hanging, which means the only one left would be this one right here. And the body was hidden before after the wallpaper's ripped off. There we go. Alright, there we case. go. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. Oh. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that. For the notes I keep seeing in the chat, uh, but not in the chat itself from Better Twitch TV, I know. The one that Ariel just, they're uh, Twitch emotes. The only one I have from Better Twitch TV is uh, uh, this one, and then the rainbow, the rainbow one. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music video from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night, oh, Ariel. Sleep well, and thanks for hanging out with us. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of State, the State, hello, how are you? The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. Oh, there was a trial where they found the second body after the killer was already executed. I don't know. Good question. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, 
They were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Hey, you got Urin. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Oh my god, I... This this drop in like score is gonna be dramatic. Yep. <laughs> 100, 100, 85, 87, 100, 100, 70, 100, 95, 30, 29, 66. Oof. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time! Stay for the execution! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, Correct. you got it right once again, that's like three in a row. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying blackened who got the two girls killed was Mikan Tsumiki. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nurses back to health, was the one who killed him? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me. Mikan, did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Don't just laugh, say something. This is going nowhere. What's going on? This this chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. That's well, obvious. Well, there's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have been caught she might have caught it too. She probably had despair disease, which was the motive of, for this case. What? Mikan. Two, you say. I... I know I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you can't really blame her, because the opposite of nursing is kill and healing is destroying, and I guess this makes sense after all. My conscience kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Oh, hold on, did you say Mikan also had a despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? M my body's heavy. Not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right, Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, it must have been... A high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps... The symptoms sh that she surely felt must have been deserving of that name, despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the disease despair, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why. She can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. 
which means the Makan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely dis different person now that she's been infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human being who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. <laughs> That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of killing someone instead of the sake instead of for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh. For the sake of despair. That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong. What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Who was who? Who did she love? Huh? Huh? Who are you? Who are you talking about? <laughs> If only they were still alive. They'd be so happy. I know. Tangle, did you die? My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. She's talking about Junko? They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly love. what love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand. Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Oof! Shots fired. Is it because you, you're you also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? Shots fired. What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand. But love is a wonderful thing. Uh, this feeling this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones in that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, how it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Could it be? You aren't wrong, Tangled. Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair, you were half right. It's right to say that this is thanks to the disease, because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. Ah, what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this, are you saying you were like this from the start? You were like this before you came to this island? <laughs> Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody, it's everyone's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> so even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the, the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way. The person you are right now is the real Mikan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you something nice. <laughs> it's about the World Ender Organization that you all are worrying about. Are you serious? You know? <laughs> Not no, I remembered. That's all. I knew it all along. How that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future... <laughs> That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruins of door. That's right, it was the Japanese word for future. Mirai! Just what is Future Foundation, and what are they planning? As the name suggests, th that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. W what the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? 
As part of the plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Huh. Isn't that right, Monami? I knew it! Monami and Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Monami and I aren't members. I my existence is entirely my own. Hey. Don't laugh. Hey Mikan, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? The true identity of the traitor hiding among us? Of course I know that. Let's see. The future Foundation Lackey that's hiding among all of you is... Oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Aw, oh, hell no. You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? You know, you, you even know about that? Oh. I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. Mikan, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? Huh. The past. Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's my past self who lost all her school memories. Uh, you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh. Uh, this doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well, well that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing your memory makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. The story about this, our school, stolen school lives. Hey. Hey. So it was true all along, our memories were taken away. It. If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Monokuma, is it alright for you to start now? Yes, Punishment time? Damn it, why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate nurse Mikan Sumiki. So it's over. It's really now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. But who? Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! It's punishment time! Oh my god, Compa flashbacks. Did she just get sent to outer space? What the heck? I want to be an astronaut. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki, Miyoda, and uh, Hiyoko was Mikan Sumiki? And she was... she's been executed? She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? And what was her true form? Or was it or is that symptom a or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that from just remembering, then all along Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. Even if her words were influenced by despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. Come on, let's all take this despair and change it into hope. Wait. That is impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. 
like the hard, like the house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Do we know that she's she's being stripped with Junko? Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now there's no way we can move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, it could have been Junko, but I don't know if the two games are connected to each other quite yet. Because I don't know the timeline for this. Mm. That's an interesting theory, though. It would have been so much easier if she was a traitor, too. Wrong. Inferring was, inferring not only was it someone who is now gone. I mean, this game could take place the same time as the original game. Maybe. Too bad. That's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. The traitor's still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now? <laughs> this killing game occurs after the first? Ooh, it might be Junko then. I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? Th I mean, you're both pawns of future foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? Byakuya proves that. That's really interesting that Byakuya never really mentioned... It. Well, it's interesting that he A came back to the school, and then B, it's interesting that he never mentioned that this has happened before, unless if I just missed it. What does that make you, Fiend? You did say that you're different than Monami. Who cares about what I am? Most important, I'm tired. The drama keeps going going, and I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye before, during the break. Your right eye is made of black beans? Wait, now is not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because the downs come after ups, but if life was just full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island's Beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Oh, Nekumaru is huh? back. Could it be Nekumaru? Hey. Is it? Is it? Isn't it? Nekumaru was safe after long? Mm, safe? How should I say this? Um, I knew it. That crazy bastard Nekumara would never come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope? Um, I'm happy Nekumara is returning to us, but, but I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died, so I can't honestly be happy. Hmm. Miss Sonia. However, uh, Even so, I'm still happy. If Nekumara is safe, I'm truly happy. Who's her voice actor? If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they had still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit, that line doesn't suit you at all. I shall crush you into dust. Um. Ibuki, Yoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekumaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Let us all greet Nekomaru and make it a grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? <laughs> I don't get this at all. Akane. Alrighty then, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Nekomaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Man, they ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around till after others have finished talking? Um. What does that mean? Hey, hey you plotting to something again, aren't you? No way. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them, including Nekumaru's body. Huh, oh, Nekumaru's body? <laughs> Is their fault for not sticking around till after I finished talking? <laughs> If something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> ah, puns. You, what did you do to Nekumaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I, I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who wasn't that close. 
Zetsy! Hello! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> Welcome everyone! Praise it! Praise be to Zetsy! Zetsy is an amazing uh, variety streamer. He streams a lot of um, uh, horror games. That was, and platformers. Zelda, Mario, Silent Hill. Hi, Woofy! I'm getting raided. I'm almost about to end the stream, actually. Funny enough. How was the, how was the, uh, how was the marathon stream? Welcome, Zetsy. Welcome, Woof Woofy. Welcome, uh, Ez, Ez, Edio. I, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your name. Welcome, Insane Sniper 99. We are, we just got through with the trial. So, it just couldn't be helped. Zelda, Mario, Silent Hill. Yeet. Go give him a follow. He's actually a really cool guy. Thank you for the follow, Insane Sniper. Honestly, teach me some of your skills because I'm terrible at uh, FPS games. Poo hoo, poo hoo hoo hoo. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. All right. Let's let's halt ass. Hello, Peace Frog. Oh, I'm sorry, I completely missed you. I'm sorry, Peace Frog. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept running towards the beach on the first island. Where, where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey, hey Nekamaru, show yourself! Listen. We have come to pick you up! Please hurry up and come out of hiding! We raised our voices, and we looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. <laughs> And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. Bum, bum. Speaking of which, I think the draft is in a couple of months. Hey, hey. Oh, what the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. It. Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. You finished a 13 hour shoot. Dude, go get some sleep. You've completely 1000% earned it. Go fix your sleep schedule. And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Gotta cool down for a bit? Fair enough. Could it be? That voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned to the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the Oh god. Yo! I've kept you waiting. I will I will put you to sleep. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. What are the odds he has a body or a face of a bear? What are the odds? That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. That's not what you think, chat. It's not what you think. Um... Nekomaru, haven't you noticed it yourself? He's part bear. What do you mean, notice? He's part bear. Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing. Can we see him already? Oh, he's a robot. Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Wow. Huh. Do you think he's the traitor? Shiny! I can't do a good- I can't do a good Mahi voice. Can't say I saw that one coming. Robot I wasn't expecting. But... I was expecting him to be like part bear. He actually looks cooler now. He looks... Interesting. In some ways better, in some ways worse. But it's- this is interesting. Mechamaru. Oh, I like that one. How many days? Nine days left? I assume it's like between six to nine days left. Oh, I was right, nine days left. Which means about three more trials? Or two more trials? Probably three more trials. Two more islands and then... I guess one more island and then we move out. I actually kind of want to keep playing, not gonna lie. 
Tell you what. Oh, I got my bounty for Umi. Frick yes. <laughs> Sorry. That came in at the perfect time. Sorry, hold on. This is important. This is slightly important. Uh, 2177. Sorry for being a weeb here. Uh, I was actually thinking about this during the stream, not gonna lie. 1938. Boom! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Check and there we go. We're gonna make her a goddess. We got the nurse apron. Sorry. We were hoping for things to progress smoothly. And that's right, a common ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. Uh, it would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. The name's Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. N Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> No matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all! Jeez. You guys are a strange lot. You guys have such a- you guys have such big wide eyes. <laughs> or have, perhaps you have fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. Uh, I already know what you want to say just by looking in your eyes. Then again, I'm a former team manager. What happened? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Man, don't go scaring Masonia with that strange ass mask. As he, as, as he raised his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed uh, onto Nekomaru's head and take it off. Ow, ow, ow! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, why won't it come off? Wait, are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap, it's not just for show. Give me like... 30 seconds, I'm gonna go use the bathroom, I will be right back. It's not just for show, it's pure electricity! I've been reborn as pure electricity. He's an electric type Pokemon now. Electric Steel. He's a Magneton! <laughs> if you're seriously Nekomaru, that's my fault, right? You end up getting a body like that. It's all my fault. Technically, it is her fault. She hadn't gone picking a fight with Monokuma, none of this would have happened. Electric is best. 
Kind of. It's got one weakness. Yeah, actually... Yeah, it's only got one weakness. S sorry. Sorry, Nekamaru. I don't know how to apologize for this. Gahaha, <laughs> don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? You're too upbeat. Is this really okay? <laughs> if you keep sweating the small stuff, you're gonna end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. Kamehameha, every little thing he does is a waste of time. But you're really Nekamaru, right? You came back for us? There are more cool steel types and cool electric types. Uh, I think there's just... Mm, debatable. That's right. I've resurrected from the depths of hell in the Shining Silver. You... How... Mm, how are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. How can you accept that body? It's better to just be alive. Huh? Huh? It's better just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. Show some spirit. It doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit. Amazing. You're amazing. Nekomaru is brimming with hope. It's better just be alive. I do understand what Nekomaru is saying, but no matter how much we how how we make sense of this, it's just a little too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie. This is reality. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No. Instead, why did this happen? Anyway, I'm glad. That's fine, right? He's gonna be a lot easier to kill now. Nekomaru definitely came back to us. What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? Oh, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah, why is Nekomaru a robot? Hey. Unfortunately, it was tr truly difficult to save Nekomaru from the jaws of death. They don't call me a psycho poop. Magician for nothing. Oh my goodness! Such a wonderful, such a wonderful before and after has occurred. It appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to these, thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. Hey, hey. hey, if you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to all the other stuff, like your self-awareness and? Well, how many times do I tell you that it doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nekomaru Nidai! Is he? Is he gonna power through the rest of life with his new abilities? That kind of reaction. It looks like you really are self aware. It means that this technology is insane. I've never seen or heard anything like this before. What the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. If you think advancement exists in, col in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. Fair point. <laughs> the real uh, advancement exists in a place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. And wait, but can't you do that in a college or a laboratory, or or a laboratory in a college? Never mind. And so you're saying that's you? Were you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him, you stupid stuffed toy! Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. But hold on, hold on. If you harm Monokuma again, you're going to. You intend to defy me yet again? You're quite the barbarian. Jeez, this time you'll definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. Is she the traitor? Once again, the world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding environment was all sound, and all sound was blown away by the impact, turning everything completely white. And with that whiteness, I hear that voice yet again. Are you serious? He took that blast and doesn't have a single scratch? Awesome, he's seriously a real robot. Can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? Can that be a meme, just the way he said that? If I can disassemble, I'll end up dying. Oh, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if is killed, he's gonna count as a murderer. Okay. It's possible Necro might kill someone instead. Don't say such foolish things, that'll never happen. With all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together. Someone find that soundbite. 
I sent the clips. I don't think I said anything. If you clip it, it might still be there. Once again, I hope we can all get along. That must be a channel sound effect. I have to think about what it would be for, though. It's going to be a while before I can mentally process this. Um, will Nekamaro never return to his original form? If that's the case, is it a burden? It's, it is a burden for Nekamaru. Hey, hey, it's not like I can come back as a monster. I'm just a robot you, now, you know? I'm sorry, I really can't see a difference. Uh -huh. Well, just consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. <laughs> and that is hard and that and the hard boiled is transformation into s wait. And the hard boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. <laughs> make it a command I don't know how I would do that though. Um to make like verbal cues like that into a uh Command. You're totally destroying the genres. Oh well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally. I missed it. It's totally okay. It's probably what he said. As I listened to one of his boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept that this island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It is a mad, mad, mad world where the strangeness accepted as normal. Because causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing—these things don't apply here at all. And that is what it means to live in a mad, 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 mad world. Chapter 4 Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? What the heck kind of a, a name is that? The next morning we gather at the hotel restaurant like we always do. It's a reference. I, it's, I, know, I don't know exactly what it's a reference to, but I think I recognize the reference. Okay, I think that is a good place to stop. We will go raid somebody though. I have an 8 a.m. It's almost 2 a.m. It's actually 1.45. Do androids dream of- I've never heard that reference before, so rip to me for thinking I knew what it was. Uh, give me a hot second, let me see who's streaming, and we will go raid them. Who needs sleep? I have my Tuesdays and my Thursdays are my longest days. I can probably stream tomorrow, honestly. Maybe. I might just play some Smash off stream tomorrow. Low key. Uh, we'll go raid... Uh, um, we'll go raid Smooth. He's playing Star Ocean till the end. Let me smash. Such a... Such a... I saw myself streaming and I was like... Oh, here, open the link in the new tab. There we go. Thank you for the stream. No, thank you all for coming. Big love. I also have to like do some post-production stuff on this so I can't just... Um, I... Do the thing and stream longer i i need to get i told melanie i'd have this up by tomorrow morning and it's gonna take some time to actually do it so but i will have it uploaded to the youtube channel now you can start your probably what the heck were you doing <laughs> you didn't need to st wait until now to start your project what the heck but have a fantastic, fantastic night, everyone. I will see you all maybe tomorrow. I might just end up playing some Smash tomorrow, realistically, but stream was too good. Aww, you guys are so nice to me. I don't deserve these compliments. All right. We will... Uh, go raid smooth. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Uh, if you need me, I'll be. If you guys want to just hang out with me in general, let me know. I will still be up for a little bit, uh, getting everything wrapped up. But um, Zelle, are you free right now? You know what? I'll just message you later. Um, have a fantastic night. Sleep well, everyone. And I will see you all tomorrow, maybe, maybe, possibly. Knock on wood.
Well, sweet dreams. <laughs>